Hello and welcome to another Warhammer 40k video from JMP Miniatures. So this time I'm going through how I painted a Iron Strider from Adeptus Mechanicus. So to start off with I've just mounted um, some of the pieces on pieces of paper clip here and I've just used a bit of super glue to do that and I'm priming them with black primer from Vallejo. Um, I've left this model partially assembled, that's why I'm using the paper clips here. And I've left the legs off as well so I can paint everything separately and then glue it all together when it's finished. So I'm just going to go ahead and prime all the parts here and then we can move on to the next step. So next up I'm using Bone White from Vallejo and I'm just going ahead and I'm base coating some of the areas of the model. I'm starting on the legs here but I'll also move on to the uh, main body of the model and I'll base coat the bottom half but I'll show all that and show exactly what I'm painting with this colour. Moving on to the red parts of the model, and I'm base coating them with Scarlet Red from Vallejo. So this is all the armour plates, the gun, things like that. Now I'm on to the main part of the model, there's that previous bone white colour that I'm trying to avoid. So to be more careful, I've changed the pressure settings on the air compressor for the airbrush. I've dropped it down to um, a lower pressure, I'm not sure exactly what pressure I was on, but I've just dropped it down one bar and it's, it comes out at a slightly slower rate and you can control the paint a lot more. So I've uh, applied that to the top half there and then I just go ahead and base coat Guy's tunic with Vallejo's black. Any of the decor decorative elements are painted with Brassy Brass from Vallejo. And then I'm just going to go ahead and ink the entire red area. So for this I'm using a mix of inks. It's three parts brown ink and one part black ink. This is mixed with equal parts water. It's applied all over the red areas. So as you can see here I'm applying it to even the armour plates and I will apply it to the gun plate as well. And then the bone white areas are done with brown ink from Vallejo. Now there's quite a lot of metal parts on this model, uh, I'm base coating most of them with gun metal from Vallejo. Uh, the, all over the model it includes the gun, uh, a lot of the Skatari pilot is actually painted with this colour. Uh, and a lot of the parts on the legs and stuff are also painted but I'm going to leave them for now because I'm going in with a dry brush here and it's bone white and this is just going over all of the um, bone white areas, it's just to bring that colour back up. And I'm also going to dry brush some of the red areas with Evil Sun Scarlet from Citadel. And this is just to kind of get a nice little highlight on them, bring the colour back up a bit. Dry brush is done, we can go ahead and paint in those gun metal areas on the legs. So I avoided doing this before just because it would get a bit messy with the dry brush and I thought I'd leave it till after. And I'm just going back in now to finish that off. And like I said, a lot more metal parts on this model. I'm going in for the exhausts. There's a lot of bars and aerials and things like that that are also painted with this gun metal colour. Covering, I went for black from Vallejo, just to give the idea that it's kind of a leather seat covering. And for some shading, I went for black ink here from Vallejo. Again, all the inks are watered down, one pot water and one pot ink. I'm just going over all of the uh, gunmetal areas. It gives them quite a nice shade, get it right in the recesses and it gives a realistic appearance. To the metal, I'm going in with Brassy Brass from Vallejo again. And I'm just kind of painting this over some selected areas. So I'm going in with the, with the magazine here on the auto cannon. Just painting some areas just to break up the metal a bit, make it look a bit more interesting. And then I'm going and painting the cape with Mephiston Red from Citadel. So I've watered this down, it might take a couple of coats, but it will provide a nice strong colour on the end. 
So the inside of the cape's actually folded over just on the edge there. So I'm painting the inside rack art flesh and just where it's folded over there and on the actual inside of the cape. It's a nice base colour for bone white from Vallejo. I'm just going straight over that. Only actually needs one coat for this because it's got a nice strong back and colour. And then I just start trying to blend in some Evil Sun Scarlet into this Mephiston Red Cape. Uh, this is to brighten it up a bit but it also kind of adds some depth at the same time. I'm not using any shades here for the cape because I want quite a more uh, subtle approach to the shading. But I'm going to edge highlight all these red areas with the same Evil Sun Scarlet. So I'm just going to go around all of the armour panels, all of the red areas and use my uh, sorry, Evil Sun Scarlet to highlight those very sharp edges. With the uh, metal areas, I'm using Runefang Steel from Citadel. I'm just going around the very highest and sharpest edges of all these metal bits just to give them a bit more definition. So for the decorative parts where we've painted brass, I'm just edge highlighting these with Runefang Steel, it's the same paint as before. Uh, this is just gives it quite a nice sharp highlight, uh, it's quite popular with Citadel at the moment, they paint a lot of models like this. The lenses uh, on the Skitari Ranger here, I'm just going to paint them in Ceramite White. And the lenses on the top half of the model are painted with electric blue from Vallejo. Now those white lenses are dry, we're going to use Gilliman Blue Glaze. This kind of gives them a nice bright blue appearance. And the skin for the pilot of the uh, Iron Strider, he skins painted with Bugman's Glue. It's then shaded with Reichland Flesh Shade. And then I'm going over with a layer of Cadian Flesh Tone and I'm leaving that darker colour in a lot of the recesses. This gives a nice bit of depth. The black tunic, uh, I'm highlighting that with Eschen Grey from Citadel and this is just an edge highlight on the folds of the clothing just to give them a kind of nice um, coloured appearance. So now that everything's painted and finished, I'm going to go ahead and start assembling the model. Now I'm using PVA glue here to stick the pilot in place here. This is just to avoid the kind of mist and effect that you get from super glue. Now I'm going to use super glue for the parts that will be hidden, but for the pilot I just thought I'd use PVA to stop that mist and effect. So I'm just going to glue this all together and then we can have a look at the finished model. So here is the finished Iron Strider, I'm quite pleased with how it came out, it's quite a simple and easy way to paint these models, uh, the airbrush does help a lot with those lighter colours but then again you just have a bit of patience with the paintbrush. So I'd just like to thank you for watching and it would be really helpful if you could leave a like.